they were fishing. fishing. And so if they were fishing, that makes them fisher, fishermen. Yeah, they were fishermen. Fisher people. Yeah. And so Jesus said, come follow me. And was it just about them learning about Jesus that Jesus wanted them to follow him? Or did he want them to follow him so that they could learn about him and then tell other people? Jesus said to them, if you follow me, I will make you fishers for people. In other words, you can catch people for God instead of just catching stinky fish. Which catching stinky fish is a really good living back in the days, especially, and still. But Jesus said, if you come follow me, I'll make you fishermen for people. That you can help catch people so that they can learn about God. And so, um, when I was your age, we learned a song, I think I might have taught you this one time before. I will make you fishers of men. Do you know that song? Did I teach you that one? Do you know this one, Cameron? Cool. Sing it with me. It goes like this. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Can you try that much with me? I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Okay? If you know that song too, Brian, we'll sing that one. Nice you know that song too, sir? All right, sing so that all those people can hear you too. You can help if you want. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me. If you follow me. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Now who was talking when he said those words? I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Who was speaking that? Jesus. That's right. Is that what you're saying, Ryan? Jesus was saying that. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. That means that when Jesus comes into our heart, we can't just keep it all for ourselves, can we? No. What do we have to do with learning about Jesus? What do we have to do with that? Keep it for yourself? Yeah. What, Ryan? Share. Share it. How do we do that? <gasps> Tell other people about Jesus. And um, I have a way. Miss Linda made you a present today. See, I told you, Emily, you were going to wish you'd come on. Um, Miss Linda made you a present. What does that look like? It's made of See this bracelet that I have? Okay, but what's, it's, it's gold and silver in color, but what is it made out of? Can you tell? It's made out of those little um, swivelly things like you use. It's, it's like the little swivel things like you hook on your fishing line. You put it on your fishing line. So these little, see that part right there spins around? And that part right there is where there's little like fins and you would hook your fishing bait on the end of that. So they're made out of things like fishing things. So I have one of these for each of you that Miss Linda made. You have to get your mom to help you put them on because they're kind of tough for your dad or your friend or somebody. Um, they're kind of tough to put on. But when you look at that bracelet, I want you to remember that Jesus tells you all about the love that God has for you. But are you supposed to just keep it all to yourself? No, you're supposed to share it. So when you look at that, let it remind you that you're supposed to share it, okay? Okay? All right, let's say our prayers and then I'll give you a bracelet to you to switch to your seats. You repeat after me. Dear God, we love you. Thank you that through Jesus you saved us. Help us 